Hi guys, Retro Django here, back with another short video. It's gonna be a gameplay video because I made a I made a video earlier today just with a question. I made a video earlier today just with a question, and I was just um, I was in the, on this uh, arcade game selector menu, and I just started a game so it could just run in the background, and the volume was high because I I, I played when I play it's I mean the volume is just on top. I uh, I love that. I mean I love to exaggerate everything. That's just how I am. So. Uh, <clears throat> On that video, uh, a, a guy asked me uh, what's the name of the game and and I said I will uh, get back and now I found out just after dinner here that I got four mails uh, from people that uh, asked me about the title of that game and if I could send, upload a copy on my Facebook page and all that and now I'll, I, I want to find out what that game is because as I, uh, as I read People have uh, awesome memories of uh, of that game. So the only thing I remember was I was under M, and it was something with a robot. So that's what I remember. So I'm gonna find out what that game was. I just went down like this, and I something with M. Let's see. Can you read from there? Oh, it's not easy, guys. Mean streets, mega motion. It, it it is. It was a robot. Mega twins. Megalomania, one of my favorite games back then when I had an Amiga 600. German version. Mega Ball. I love Mega Ball. It's a Arknoid on steroids. Steroid. Steroid. Steroids. I don't know what's it called. <laughs> Merck's all amazing arcade game. Oh! That was it, guys. Metal Law, publisher, new bits on the RAM. <laughs> Year 1992, you can play two-player games. So the game I uploaded was called Metal Law, and let's just try that one out, guys. Metal Law, all right. I have no memory of this game. Okay, it's 2003. New York, okay. I'm thinking, is it better to just turn off the light and uh, play in darkness? Let me see how it looks on the camera. Ah, it's the same, guys. Alright. Just like this, how does it look? No, it doesn't matter. Alright! Programming, technical assistance, alright. So, let's try this awesome game, guys. Music and sound effects. What? Chris Holzbeck? I mean, that's that's the Turkan guy. Turkan too, man. Oh, Chris, this is just amazing. Guys, on the camera, I mean, you can't judge it, the, the sound is nothing. Please get this uh, metal law and, and, and play it with big speakers at home. It, the music is amazing! So, it's a jump and gun game. So, normal fire and you... Two seconds, guys. This is abomination, but... When you hold the fire button down, nothing happens, and you just jump, and you can moonwalk, and you can auto-fire. 
Oh yes. Guys, I have some bad news, but my voice is not important. The music, it's from Chris Main. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why my screen is like this. Yeah, okay. All right, let's check out this game. It's from 1992. Pick up something. Oh, whoa. Oh, you have a health bar down there. Hey, my shots are just bigger. Oh, it sounds like Turkin almost. Turkin too. What? Come on! Yeah. Come on! Okay. Yeah. Guys, he can't... Uh... What? Oh, okay. You can double jump. Oh, nice. Oh. I love the music. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, it's an awesome game. Love the graphics. Love the music. Uh, the gameplay is a like cheap man's turkey too, you know. Poor man's. <laughs> I mean, this part of the music. Oh. Okay, don't touch that ball thingy. Remember, there, there was a game, so you could jump on second level or third level. So when you uh, uh, hold the joystick down and you can press fire, and he could jump down, and he had a werewolf. He had a uh, a wolf. What was it called? Wolf something. Okay, this one is Metal Law, and I love the music. I think it was called. Wolf, Shadow Wolf it was called. Two second guys. This one is running with a 030 so the menu is pretty slow. Shadow, what was it? Shadow Wolf? Sensible Saga. Shadow, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. So, let's see. Um, Shadow Dan. There it is. Shadow Dancer. What's Shadow Fighter? No. Shadow Dancer from 1991. You have to all this game on the Amiga 500. It was one of the early games I tried back then. I tried. Oh yes! <laughs> all right, 
I wanna play. Come on! Press fire, there we go. So, oh, let's check this out. Yeah, you have these uh, ninja stars. Oh, man. So, you could press on the button. Yeah, look at this. Then you werewolf, your wolf does that and you can kill the man. I don't know if this one has... No, okay. How do I get like this? No? Uh, oh, there we go. I mean, it doesn't look that much now, but back then it was just mind-blowing. And you have to collect these... Uh, there we go. Power ups. Whoa. Oh, I got the knife. That was a nice one. Now we're down at the shadow. Let's try something else. It was something with shadow. Oh, come on. Shadow, there we go. Shadow Fighter, Shadow Sostra, Shadow Warriors. This one! We played this two player, but it's not the gameplay I wanna show you guys. It's not the gameplay. Forget about that. It's the music. Listen to this. Now, get it on your Amiga. Big speakers. Don't trust my camera speakers here. Oh. Was the best man. Amazing guys. So actually, <laughs> uh, two things I just want to say to you. One of them is <laughs> I actually got a uh, one of my subscribers, awesome guy, no no problem there. He asked me <laughs> if I wanted to make a video because uh, on my 16 gb uh, compact flash card. As you can see, every time this is a prehistoric tale, there is a screenshot. And when I go down here, you can see a quest of sport, another screenshot, an A10 tanker screenshot, A train screenshot, and all that. <laughs> Normally, I use a bigger screen. What's awesome? Okay. Normally, I use a bigger screen. And. <laughs> He wrote to me, and normally I use a 32 inch, he said, is it possible for you to just turn on your Amiga and go in and go all your games through? Let's watch an introduction what I'm talking. And just from A to Z, just go all your games through. Let's see all the screenshots and let's hear if you have any story from back then with that game and the love for that game. When did you play it? I mean, let's hear your experience and everybody else can write theirs and all that. But dear friend, there are just so, so many games on this uh, compact flash card that I don't know, maybe I could take one letter and, and make one long video, <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry to say I can't go everything through, it's just, it's just too much guys, it's just too much. So um, yeah, there we go, that's, that's my answer. Uh, another one is, I, I built this uh, old 30 machine a few days ago and some of you guys wanted to see Frontier run on it and I will say yeah, yeah, we can run Frontier, but 
I mean, on uh, on a 60,030, the Frontier runs amazing. You don't... Uh, let's see, Frontier, here we go. Frontier, yeah, that's one. I mean, you can see a clear difference from a normal Amiga 500 with the 68,000 processor. And if you have this 030 uh, right by side, the, side, uh, the, the 68,000, it doesn't run this well. But, but I mean, if you, if you run it with a 030 and you have a 040 here, Maybe you can see the difference, but it, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, running this game on an 030, it's enough. This one has got two megs of uh, chip RAM. That, that's a must. If, you, if you're a subscriber, then you know I love Amigas. And I mean, Amigas need to have two megs of chip RAM. That, that's just a must from, from me. So this one has got two megs of chip RAM, eight megs of fast RAM on board, directly on the motherboard. And it runs 25 megahertz with an 030 and actually nothing else no scan doubler no nothing just a normal uh, rgb cable from the video output to this lovely lovely 1084s the picture quality on the camera oh, it's i mean the real deal I can't explain how nice it looks. This screen has not been used that much. It is just like new and I really love it. So this is how the Frontier runs on an O30, 25 megahertz. Look at this guys, it, it runs fluid. It's, it's, it's nice. If I watched it with an 040, I couldn't see any difference. But if they're uh, side by side comparison, yeah, you can of course see it, but it's just, it's enough with the 030. It's amazing guys. Oh, I gotta ask, how fast does it boot? Let's just uh, make a software boot. This is just a uh, Q&A video. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I got asked about, uh, this is the boot speed. It, it boots all right, it's, it's okay. I got asked if I wanted to make a sys test, what's it called, sysinfo? Uh, programs, there we go. Wasn't it there? Yes, it was. There we go. So, as you can see, AGA, 2 mix, PAL, AGA, LS chip, uh, CPU, 030. That's nice. Um, FPU, none. Let's make a speed test here. There we go. As you can see, 25, uh, 25 megahertz, no FPU, Kavabonga, and if we just expand this, then you can see 4200 dry stones, 4.38 MIPS, and we are almost 8 times the speed of an Amiga 600. That's just great! <laughs> Oh, that's nice. All right, so that's sysinfo, all right. And you saw how fast it, let's just boot again. And guys, really, I wanna thank you for all your questions. Sometimes I don't answer them. I mean, sorry, just just ask me the question again. I mean, sometimes it's just too much to, uh, I want to answer you all guys, but um, yeah, 
One guy asked me about um, I, I have the beholder. What's the difference? Strategic simulation. One guy asked me if out the beholder ran on a O30 because he has an O30 accelerator on his Amiga 500 and it doesn't start up. It does here, but let me explain you. You wrote to me, Ma Michael it was, Michael, you wrote, Michael from Netherlands, you wrote to me that you had an accelerator card on your Amiga 500 plus, or was it 500, with the sidecar expansion and a 40 megabyte hard drive. It's a lovely ex expansion you got there. It's probably GVP, I think it was called. Yeah, but you wrote to me that you ran after Beholder on discs. I run my games through WHD load. And when you run it through WHD load, it, it's not the same as the discs. I mean, with the WHD load, the games has been optimized to, and much, much more compatible. And I don't know who uh, who programmed the WHD load and all that, but these guys, or one guy, I don't know, they made a superb job on, uh, on, on optimizing the games so they can run uh, on more powerful Amigas. And, and as you can see, After Boulder 2, oh, I don't remember if it's said After Boulder 1 or 2, we will check After Boulder 1 also, um, but with WHD load, it works. If you upgrade to an 040, then you got some trouble. <laughs> but uh, 010, 020, 030, it's perfect. So let's just quit this one. F10 quits. Let's go down to E again. And uh, Elvira. Yeah. Let's find out. I have the beholder one. I of Horus. After all, the one from 1991, and see if it works again with an O30. Again, WSD load, so it has been optimized. And this one runs with Kickstart 3.1 also. There we go. Nice. The music, intro music on. on I have to behold the one and two. It really sets the mood. <laughs> you really, uh, oh my god. I'm, it's like I'm back in 1993. I'm a little kid again. I'm not even a teenager again. Oh, it's amazing, guys. I, I love this. I mean, I'm a total hardware geek. I love to play around with old Amiga hardware and I like the old original hardware. I love the support, I love every remake stuff and all that, but I'm sucker for the hardware and there are so many YouTubers that also love all the old Amiga hardware and so and we are so focused on hardware that we just forget about software. Let's just focus on software on this video guys. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah. It runs great. It runs great. Nice. So, one more question. I, I got asked about Supercast 2. And I know Supercast 2 work. I know Supercast 2 work on this one. And the reason I know that is... Come on, it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite games. I don't know why I have so many Sensible Sucker. Watch this. Sensible Sucker from 1992. 512K. Sensible Sucker, England versus Germany. 93 edition. Oh my god, oh my god. 1.1, 1.2. Sensible World of Moon Sucker. <laughs> That's nice from 1994 
Sensible World of Soccer. Okay, Sentinel. One of my favorite games back then. The Settlers. Oh, it's just. Shout out to Beast, guys. Uh, what was the Supercast? Let's go down. Oh, I was actually playing. Uh, I was playing SimCity 2000. And I'm in love with the, that game. It was. It is just old school. I mean, um, you have you have to give them water and, and and all that. But the newer versions today. I mean, you have to zone them in. You have to do so many new stuff. And since 2000, I I love being a mayor at that game and and just build. And you know what? I think it was a couple of days ago. I watched a, a video with uh, LGR. He reviewed. This version, the first one from 1989, SimCity, and I watched his review. He, uh, LGL talked, uh, Clint, he talked about uh, how simple it was against the newer versions, you know. I think the SimCity 2000 was simple, you know, but this is more simple. You don't have to give them uh, water and all that, just give them some power and... Uh, and then destroy your city. It's just, it's just so, so, such an awesome game, and an awesome review by L LGR. Please check it out. Now this weekend, I'm gonna play this game. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really hooked. <laughs> Thank you, LGR. <laughs> so let's check. Uh, oh, Summon the Sorcerer. Also a nice game, guys. Skid marks on the AGA. This one was mind blowing. It 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 was on many many discs, and it had uh, so many expansions. And one of my friend friends was the first buyer of the Amiga 1200, and he had the AGA chip. And we couldn't copy this game. We couldn't play it on our Amiga 500s and on Amiga 600s. And it was just yeah, come on. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, later on, <laughs> we all got the Amiga 1200 with 2 megs of chip RAM and sampler. We could sample our voice sound and put in some samples on Wings of Fury and it was... Oh man, those days, those days. Danish production. This game has been produced, Hugo, on this computer. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? This one has a lot of history. Scroll, what's that? Don't know. Sleepwalker. Oh, two megabyte game. What's that? Slam Chilled AGA two megabyte version from 1996. Oh, nice that one. I must, I must try. So we got Soldier through 2000. Space Quest. Three, two, one. Space Pilot. Nice. Oh, that's an old one. Special Force. Oh, this one, guys. Speedball 2. Oh, brutal Deluxe. One of the best two-player games ever. What's this? What's this? The Spy Who Loved Me, James Bond. Don't know that one. Star Control, Star Command, Star Wars. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Oh, I played that one on the arcade. The Empire Strikes Back. Some vector graphics. Star Lord. <laughs> Alright. I should do this on a bigger uh, screen, guys. <laughs> oh, look at this. Street Rod 2. I love that. I used to love that game. Strip Poker. Oh, Strider! Amazing game, guys. Strider 2. Stunt car. Supercast, there we go. Supercast 2, that was the question. Does it run on your O30? Yes, it does. I love this game. I. That's another one.
There we go, Michael. It runs. It runs well. Again, install WS2 load and oh man, it's it's amazing. I love using discs, but yeah. Amazing game. Last game we're gonna load, and it's that's one of the oldest games I played. Actually, I saw it on the what's it called uh, on Commodore 64. Dark Sea. Um, there we go. Defenders of the Crown. Oh, this is number two. Number one from 87. I think on the Commodore 64 it was back in 86. Oh, it says 1986 Cinemaware. I haven't tried it here. Oh, wait. Yeah. It works. This one is really old, guys. I mean, I, I think this one was programmed back when we had the uh, Kickstart 1.2 well I never had Kickstart 1.2 I started with an Amiga 600 the Saxons, the ladies, the Normans uh, this game was this game was groundbreaking on the Amiga 1000 I read about uh, what this game did for the Amiga uh, oh my god google it Listen to the read about the history about this game. It's oh man, choose a character, share what forest. These animations were amazing on the Commodore 64. <laughs> Go back and check it out. <laughs> oh my god, this game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, another game, another game, guys. Do you have the time? Stick around. This gem. I mean, if you if you remember this game, please write you do on the comments down below. It, <sighs> damn, it was good. The eyes on the skull is they're flashing. Pirates. This one was amazing, guys. Yeah, it works. Nice. Ah, so many awesome memories about this game too. And we're gonna check one more game. <laughs> How many games does that? Last game, last game. So let's quit this one. <laughs> I wanted to check XCOM, but I don't have XCOM. Hey, maybe it's UFO Enemy Unknown. Let's go down to you. I don't know. If... Yes, 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 yes. We got it. We got the AGA version and the CD32 version. Oh, look at this, guys. Uranium, one megabyte, two megabyte. Universe. Universe 3 Ultimate games Ultimate Body Blows, but Ultimate Warriors oh. Okay, let's try UFO The AGA version I don't want to say last game because yeah. So this game I tried the UFO, I think it was on my Amiga 1200 with 2 megabyte chip RAM and nothing else. Oh, 20, of course, 14 megahertz. And it ran so slow. I mean, it was almost unplayable. And I did that after I, I actually visited a friend after school and I saw this game 
for the first time on his daddy's PC. And I didn't understand anything about it, but after 10 minutes of gameplay, I was sold. This game is... It was so amazing. How do you speed up? There we go. Oh, it, it's... It, it is, oh, look at this. I mean, with an O30, it doesn't run. It doesn't run that good. So you can just imagine how it ran with an O20. It was... I was just devastated when I came home and I played this on an Amiga 1200. Ah, it runs. <laughs> Actually, this, the, the music, the sound is good compared to the PC version. So, I saw this game. I saw Doom. I saw Doom. Before Duke Nukem, I saw Doom and that, that was just it. Then I jumped over to the PC, 486, DX4, 100 megahertz. And then I tried this game, of course, 100 megahertz. This is only at 25 megahertz, but there it just ran. It runs amazing on a DX4. So let's go down to you again. So yes, you can, you can play UFO Enemy Unknown with this O30, but I would not recommend it. It runs. I mean, when the when the game start doesn't run that well, it just ruins everything for me. So this is Uridium 2, one megabyte version, and this is the two megabyte version. Let's try that. I, I love these games that uh, that got optimized and uh, we're looking for a, a little bit better Amiga. Oh, this is a high risk picture. Nice. The game is. Loading, decrunching, or oh, what more game? Um, North and South. We have to try that one too. Loading mission data, guys. We have to load um, North and South. That because that that should be a uh, not an easy game to run. Oh my God, memories! <laughs> it sounds amazing. So sad you have to listen to this through my cheap microphone because oh it's amazing two megabyte version uh, auto fire on there we go oh there was something there oh what was that what was that what, what was that oh there there used to be a female voice oh I'm missing all power ups. So the police for power ups. There we go. What's left, man? There we go. Oh, there was one dude down here. Oh, come on! Yeah, that was just points. What's oh there? Anything left? Anything left, John? Just bodies. What? What's left? Oh, that was the female voice. Oh, she said land now. How do... Oh, that there? Do I land here? Landing? No, no, not there. I'm gonna land here. No. I want... Yes. Real nice voice, but I don't know where to land. <laughs> It's amazing, guys. All right, I really hate that my screen does this. Uh, does it do the same in uh, Workbench? I found out all the games. It, the, the monitor looks is, is over here. No, let's just let's start up Workbench. No, it's all right, guys. If you know why my games are over here pushed, please let me know. I, I don't know why it does this. Hmm. Let's try another one. Let's try load a demo and, and see if it pushes the picture. Demo. Uh, 
<laughs> we got the 80s porn. <laughs> Damn. Fuck. Let's see if it pushes the picture about here. No? That's all right. Mm. I don't hope that it flickers. No, it looks it it looks all right, guys. <laughs> there was one called Nine Fingers. Space wasn't that? no no. I was not a big demo guy back then, uh, but as of today, when I repair, recap, do something with these machines, I'd love to have these running on the background. But some of the AJ demos, they really need at least 040 processor. So if if you're a demo guy, if you like these heavy newer uh, newer from 1994 or 5 and newer AJ demos demos, then I would recommend an 040, maybe an 060. I mean, why not? But um, as a gamer, I love the 030. It's nice, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it it runs well on the O30. So okay, in workbench and demos, we got full screen. That's nice. I mean, I want to have full screen because this monitor is only what 12, 13, 14 inches. It's just nothing compared to 32 inches or 40 inches we use today, at least as these computer monitors. Um, Oh man, the, but the picture quality is nice. So let's try, let's try uh, Northern Sound and wrap up this video, guys. Now you can see the speed of an Amiga 4000 that has an O30 processor and just eight makes a fast RAM. That's it. North. Play Naughty Ones, real fun game. Navy Seals. Um, nice games, guys. This was one of my favorite, Nicky Boom. <laughs> Didn't try number two, but Nicky Boom one. Oh man, it was. It was amazing. Okay, Nightbreed, what's that? Don't know. Night Dawn. Ninja Mission. What? 1987, that's a Commodore 64 game. I think I played on my Commodore 64. You could pick up uh, Ninja Stars and knives and throw, or oh, what? What's going on here? Ninja Mission initialize okay one. Uh, do I press one or what? Initializing. <laughs> Man, I remember this. What? Play. I don't know. One X play. Oh, look at the graphics. Insert coins. I don't. Enter. F one. One. How do I insert coin? This is bull, man. How do I insert coin, man? One, two, three. One credit. This is an this is an arcade version. Oh damn! 
Yeah, okay. I just changed. Okay, let's just reset. <laughs> that was an arcade version, something, something with coins and no way. So let's just try north and south. I, th I think it will work on the O30. North and south image. North south files. Uh, what's this one? Okay. So let's try this one. And see what's gonna happen. From 1989. Oh! <laughs> I don't think this has nothing to do with with the O30. I think it's something with the WH image because this is the first time ever I have seen. I have seen this uh, writing. What what did it say? Image something like. Let's look. I think this is not put in the the right way. It says north south files north south image. So no. Ninja Warriors, Ninja Spirit, Ninja Remix, Ninja Rabbits, Ninja Mission. Hey, how about Last Ninja Man? Last Ninja. On Commodore 64, the music of Last Ninja 2? Oh, Last Ninja 3, I don't know. Last Duel, Last Ninja 2. Let's check out the sound. I mean, the sit chip on Commodore 64, the music of Last Ninja 2, you have heard it, I'm sure about it. it it's just... It, it. Yeah, it was System 3. What's this? Yeah, Central Park. Listen to this, guys. I hope it's uh, like the sit chip. Come on! Wait. It's different. Wait to the drums. I'm sorry guys, try this and listen to it on the Commodore 64, sit tuned. It's okay on the Amiga, I like it, I like it, but against the Commodore 64 version, oh my god, you have to listen to it on the Commodore 64. It's just amazing on the 64. There's a key. Wow. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> Get out of here! Come on! 
I'm hiding. Guys, try it on the Commodore 64. It's amazing there. <laughs> All right, guys, let's just wrap it up. And while we're doing that, let's have a game running in the background. And I don't know, let's run Chaos Engine in the background. California games, Cannon Fodder, Castles, Chaos Engine 2, Champions of Crim. What went wrong when they made Chaos Engine 2, guys? Chaos Engine CD32 version. Alright. Okay, guys, I want to say thank you for watching this uh, Metal Law video. Uh, became a. <laughs> introduction for the Amiga 4030 processor gameplay WSL running video but still I hope you enjoyed it because uh... okay it's a th CD32 version but I played this game on the CD32 and here there should be some voice telling you that uh, Everything went wrong and uh, and all that and music and speech and all that, but that's just cut off because of storage. There's not even oh the music I think it starts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Auto fire. If you're up for an awesome two-player game when you uh, steal these coins from your buddy and you like power-ups and killing monsters and having perfect control with the joystick and want to have a blast and awesome gameplay and your little design bubble activated extreme voices just play this game Play Chaos Engine 1, not 2, but 1. Awesome two-player cooperative game. Amazing graphics, music, look at this. Yeah, burn, burn in hell. Oh, yeah, come on. Listen to this. Listen to the beat, wait, wait, this. <laughs> oh, it's an amazing game. Oh, give her the money. Ah, all right, guys, it works. So, what was it? Metal Law. Metal Law. Never been so much fun. So, <laughs> this is the reason I made this video. Metal Law. Alright. So, um, it's an awesome game. It's a, uh, it's a, it's just a copy from uh, the year before. Uh, Turkin 2. But same guy that made the music. And you can really... Uh, you get the idea that it's, it's from Chris again. Chris Holzbeck. Oh, it's great! <laughs> Alright guys, why does this keep on happening? It must be something something. If you know what to do, please let me know. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. It's amazing. Yesterday I hit 1000 subscribers. I am so happy. I, re I really think I fought for it. Every day it was growing just, you know, a couple of subscribers and I was just so thankful. I'm a humble guy, got a small channel, I mean, we got great channels, LGR, 1 million subscribers. I mean, congratulations buddy, his channel is about, I think, over 10 years old or something like that, but great channel. Go and subscribe to LGR and but I, I, I got the thousand subscribers yesterday, I think it, uh, it was, but today 
I just woke up. I, I checked. I checked my phone, YouTube, and all that. You know what? I got around 80 subscribers during the night. I mean, in six hours of sleep. That has never, ever happened to me before. I don't know why. That's just a. Normally, I get three, five subscribers during a day, and this just 80 in one night. What did you do, guys? Did you all have an Amiga party or what? <laughs> I don't know, but thank you. I'm just so thankful. Uh, it, it makes me happy. This means you like my videos. You like the retro stuff. That's that's amazing. That's just so great. So please, thanks for the subscription, but please share my videos, guys. That would be that would be amazing because when you share it, I can see it, and it it, it makes me so happy. Until next time, guys, play some Metal Law. You know what? Not because of the gameplay, but because of the music. <laughs> it's awesome! Have a nice day guys! <laughs> Retro Jingo out! Bye!